Terrytown Travel Center, the RV Superstore. Hello, this is John coming at you from Terrytown RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan on a beautiful sunny afternoon. And today I just wanted to show you this 2017 Keystone Alpine 3661 FL. This is a front living unit and it's a luxury fifth wheel. It's kind of made for uh, someone who's gonna be out every weekend, out all the time. I'd say its direct competitors are probably uh, the Jayco Pinnacle or the Cedar Creek Champagne or other similar high-class fifth wheels. It does have a six-point stabilization system. It has six slides in it, which is a lot, and it sleeps four people. As you can see, it has this uh, high-gloss uh, front end cap, high-gloss front profile. Uh, it has a trail air fifth wheel pin box. Um, you can see uh, the landing gear in the front made with that leveling system. This is actually where you control the leveling system right here on the side. Let me, let me see if I can get back a little bit so you can get a look at some of this, some of this gloss on this graphics package. I'm gonna show you the other side of this too. It's a little close to the other unit so it's hard to see but it's sparkly and glossy especially the front. There's a nice storage compartment right here in the front. It's gonna be, you know, water resistant and have lots of space in there for you. This is like a utility compartment with a battery and looks like some hydraulic fluid. Open this up, another storage compartment. In this storage compartment, you can see part of the aluminum frame and it's carpeted with a trunk carpet liner. There's four large aluminum entrance steps. Here's your large entrance door. Here's the name, 3661FL. Um, it does have these large frameless windows which you'd expect on a luxury fifth wheel like this. Here's some large pass-through storage in the back. And this is the same vinyl flooring that's in the front, or that's inside the unit, I mean. You can see how big this is, this is all connected. And these are your TVs that are gonna go inside. So these are just the boxes. Uh, 48 inch in the living room, 40 inch in the bedroom. Here's the back. Okay, you can see the large UV window. You can see the ladder for doing roof maintenance and that it's all one piece in the back here. These are the wheels that come standard on this. It has a Equiflex suspension system. And these are actually G-rated wheels, which you don't always get on these nice fifth wheels. Nice upgrade there. All right, let's step on inside this unit. Oh, I forgot to show you too. Of course it has a large power awning with LED light. Let's step on inside and check it out. All right, like I said, this is a front living unit. So as you step in, you look to the right and you see this huge living room area. We'll check that out in a little bit. This has urban loft decor. You walk left a little bit, you come to your large kitchen and dining area, and in the back you have your bedroom and your bathroom. So let's check out the living room first. Walk into your right. The great thing about these front living units is that the living rooms seem inviting and large and more, more like your home living room, I'd say. Okay, we've got some windows here. We've got uh, a tri-fold couch right here. This is in the urban loft decor. I'll get close to it so you can see how it is. It's kind of a chocolatey brown leatherette. There's a large entertainment center on the back. Oh, that's all real wood. It's going to be screwed and glued cabinetry. This is a luxury fifth wheel, so this is mostly... All really high-grade materials, high-grade stuff. The only thing that's going to be faux is this, the front of this fireplace. Um, but it's still, you know, it's still sturdy and strong, even if it's not rock. And there are slide-outs in this living room, two of them. That's why it seems so large. Uh, this is the exact same as the other side. And you have this theater seating right here that's going to face your large 48-inch TV in this huge entertainment area. And also, this entertainment area has so many... Um, cupboards and things to put your stuff in. Okay, let's step back down the steps, check out the kitchen. There's a large bay window, two other large windows, and this is part of the urban loft decor as well, this textile. Um, another great thing that I like about the Alpine versus some of its competitors is they come with these wooden shades, and these wooden shades are pretty great. These are not cheap, and they really, really give this unit a lot of class. All right, you can see that there are carpet in, or that there is carpet in the slide outs. Uh, this has darker colored wood board that contrasts the rest of the wood in here. Uh, that's a good look. It also has Corian countertops 
This has an island kitchen, which I like. It's better for storage. Um, there's lots of storage in here. Pull this out, you see the two waste baskets. So it's actually usable. It's better for storage, but it's also better for countertop space, especially with these sink covers in. But you take these out. There is a very large dual bowl stainless steel sink. Uh, the left bowl especially is really big. And this faucet pulls out, of course. This is all made out of really high quality stuff because this is a luxury fifth wheel. Let's open up a couple of these just so you can see how much storage space there is here. More Corian countertops. More of that dark wood board. Um, this is actually how you control everything in this unit. It's not an old school. It, it's not the old school style where, you know, there's that a switchboard basically and you have all the on off switches and awnings. This is all controlled via this panel. You turn on your lights um, and your utilities and your slides and your awning all from here. And you can get an app for your phone as well. And then you can control them all via Bluetooth, which is great too. And it has something like 40 foot of range. So let's look over here. Look at the, the nice woodwork on this slide out. More Corian countertops. This covers up your oven, or your range top, I should say. Yeah, the oven is stainless steel, very large microwave, which is also convection. Um, people seem to rarely use their ovens in these units anyway. And there's a wine rack up here, built right in. Let's open this up. More storage space. Uh, let's check out how large this refrigerator is. This looks like, yeah, this is one, there's the freezer on the bottom. And then a lot of storage space up above. And then let's check out this large pantry, which is awesome to have in a unit like this. And this seems to be one thing that separates these luxury units from, you know, some of the smaller fifth wheels or some of the less luxurious ones is just how well they use the pantry space, how, how much kitchen storage space there is. Um, here's another little nook. Some more storage underneath it. Here's your thermostat. Um, more storage here. This even has this darkened glass. Uh, there's a, a stairway banister. It looks like composite material on the steps here. And there is a uh, wood look vinyl throughout. Which is nice looking, but also stands up well. It holds up well, I should say. All right. Here's a big pantry space before the bathroom. Oh, with two more chairs to use for whatever. Looks like, oh, a washer and dryer hookup. Washer and dryer prep there too. Um, you have a panel door for the bathroom to save on space. Porcelain foot flush toilet. Glass shower with a seat and a skylight. Some more linen space here. And this is very deep, very deep space here. There we go. Power fan here. Mirrored medicine cabinet. The more Corian countertops here. Lots of storage space underneath that, but also an American stone cast sink. These are really sturdy uh, and they withstand temperatures up to 500 degrees. Um, before I go into the back bedroom, I also want to look at the ceiling in this living room. Um, it does have ceiling fan it's got that decorative wood molding on top there are also speakers throughout there are is speakers with the entertainment center in the living room there's a multimedia player that has you know bluetooth hdmi um, auxiliary inputs and you can control the speakers outside the speakers in here the speakers in the back bedroom all right let's go back into this back bedroom it has decorative glass on the door close that Give you a look around generally. Okay, we've got a bed. We've got um, an all wood headboard. We've got wooden slide out fascia. We've got a big window. And this is for the 40 inch TV and um, more wardrobe space. And also it looks like a clothing cabinet built right in. Or a dresser as some say. Okay, so this is gonna be a wardrobe space. Oh, there is a hanging bar right here. Okay. Dresser space. Another hanging bar here, and this is the vacuum that comes with this unit. And your TV is on a slide out. 
position that as you like. Okay, it looks like this is a pillow top mattress. Yeah, it is very soft. There's also partner LED reading lights. This unit also does have dual ACs from Keystone, so uh, the whole thing will be cooled down. Oh, there's also cute little lights on these stairs up to the living area. But yeah, this has been the Keystone Alpine 3661 FL. And FL is for front living. I'm John from Terrytown RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Uh, if you want to take a look at this unit or any other high quality fifth wheels or just really anything else at all, we also have motorhomes to go right next door. So if you want to check out any units, feel free to come on down and check these out. and We'd be happy to help you out. Thanks for taking this tour with me. Take care. Give Terrytown RV a call today so we can put our buying power and experienced service to work for you. We look forward to earning your business. Terrytown RV. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube page to stay updated on new content. Our Facebook link and websites are located in the descriptions below. Terrytown RV.